Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements. Millets are not water or input intensive crops. These are gluten free and low glycemic index food. We have to select the correct statement or statements. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. Millets or nutri cereals include jowar, bajra and ragi. They are rich in minerals and B-complex vitamins. They also have proteins and antioxidants, which makes them an ideal choice for improving the nutritional outcome of children. They are not water or input intensive, which makes them a sustainable strategy for addressing climate change and also building a resilient agri-food system. These are gluten-free and low glycemic index food, good for diabetic people, and also helps to combat cardiovascular diseases and nutritional deficiency. Moving on to the next question. With respect to the National Rural Health Mission Scheme, consider the following statements. Ayurvedic doctors are treated at par with allopathic medical officers and dental medical officers under the NRHM scheme. This was introduced in 2005 by the center to provide affordable health care to the rural poor. As we have to select the correct statement, both are correct. C is the correct answer. Recently, the Supreme Court has said in an order that the Ayurvedic doctors are at par with their allopathic counterparts. Ayurvedic doctors will be entitled to be treated at par with allopathic medical officers and dental medical officers. The apex court was upholding an order of the Uttarakhand High Court. As per High Court, Ayurvedic doctors would get the same salary as allopathic and dental medical officers under the scheme. The scheme was introduced in 2005 by the center. It provides affordable health care to the rural poor. With respect to the GSLV F10 EOS 03 mission, consider the following statements. Earth Observation Satellite 03, part of the new generation of Earth Observation Satellites, was meant to provide almost real-time images of large parts of the country. Recently, this machine failed due to deviation in the performance of the cryogenic upper stage of the launch vehicle. We have to select the incorrect statement. Actually, both are correct. D is going to be the correct answer. The GSLV F10 Earth Observation Satellite 3 mission failed due to deviation in the performance of the cryogenic upper stage of the launch vehicle. It was lifted off from Sri Harikota on August 12 last year. Although the GSLV had a normal lift off after 26 hours, of countdown, the mission had to be aborted, much to the dismay of ISRO. It was a part of the new generation of Earth observation satellites, which was meant to provide almost real-time images of large parts of the country. With reference to INS Valsura, consider the following statements. It is a premier technological training institution of the Indian Navy based in Jamnagar, Gujarat. It trains officers and men on operation and maintenance of sophisticated and technological advanced equipment on board warships. Recently, it was presented as the President's Colour bestowed on a military unit in recognition of the exceptional service. We have to select the correct statement. All are correct. D is the correct answer here. President Ramnath Kovind presented the President's Colour to INS Valsuda, the Navy's premier technological training establishment. It is bestowed on a military unit. In recognition of the exceptional service rendered to the nation, it was bestowed both in peace and in war. INS Valsura is a premier technological training institution of the Indian Navy based in Jamnagar, Gujarat. It trains officers and men on operation and maintenance of sophisticated and technologically advanced equipment on board warships. With reference to the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub, consider the following statements. It intends to encourage and nurture financial innovation in a sustainable manner through an institutional setup. The RBI has set up the hub as a wholly owned subsidiary with an initial capital contribution of Rs 100 crore. The new unit has an independent board with S. Gopala Krishnan as chairman. We have to select the correct statement or statements. All are correct. D is the correct answer. The RBI governor inaugurated the RBI hub in Bangaluru to encourage and nurture financial innovation in a sustainable manner. And the RBI has set up the hub as a wholly owned subsidiary with an initial capital contribution of 100 crore rupees. The new unit has an independent board with S. Gopala Krishnan as the chairman. 
with reference to the traditional knowledge digital library, consider the following statements. It is a pioneering initiative of India under the joint collaboration of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and Ministry of Ayush. It prevents exploitation and protects Indian traditional knowledge at patent office worldwide. It includes India's rich traditional knowledge related to the system of medicine from classical traditional books related to Ayurveda, Yunani, etc. So, as we have to select the correct statement, all are correct, T is the correct answer. The Traditional Knowledge Digital Library is a pioneering initiative of India. It is the joint collaboration of CSIR and Ministry of Ayush. It prevents exploitation and protects Indian traditional knowledge at patent offices worldwide. It includes India's rich digital knowledge related to the system of medicine from classical traditional books related to Ayurveda and Unani. With respect to PM Cares Fund, consider the following statements. It has been registered as a public charitable trust. Donations to it will not qualify to be counted as corporate social responsibility. We have to select the correct statement. Only the first is correct. A is the correct answer. The Supreme Court refused to entertain an appeal challenging an Allahabad High Court order which rejected a challenge to the constitutional validity of the fund. It has been registered, the PM cares, as a public charitable trust under the Registration Act of 1908. Prime Minister is the ex officio chairman and Minister of Defence, Minister of Home Affairs, Minister of Finance are ex officio trustees of the fund. It consists entirely of voluntary contributions from individuals and organization and it does not, not get any budgetary support. Donations to it would qualify for ATG benefits for 100% exemption under the Income Tax Act of 1961 and donations to it will also qualify to be counted as corporate social responsibility expenditure under the Companies Act 2013. With respect to Nagaland, consider the following statements. It shares its borders with four Indian states and has one international border. It is the 16th state of the Indian Union. We have to select the correct statement or statements. Only the second statement is correct. B is the correct answer. The Isaac Muiva led National Socialist Council of Nagaland has reiterated its firm stand at the ongoing Naga peace process and saying that it cannot be resolved without the Naga flag and constitution. The state of Nagaland was formally inaugurated on December 1st, 1963 as the 16th state of the Indian Union. It is bounded by Assam, Myanmar, Arunachal Pradesh and parts of Assam on the north and Manipur in the south. English has come to serve as the state language, while Nagamese, a kind of Pidgin Assamese, has become the common lingua. With respect to the cryogenic engine stage of ISRO, consider the following statements. ISRO's cryogenic upper stage project envisaged the design and development of the indigenous cryogenic upper stage to replace the stage procured from France. Cryogenic stage is technically a very complex system compared to solid or earth storable liquid propellant stage. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second is correct. B is the correct answer. ISRO's GSLV F10 flight in August last year failed because of malfunction valve that led to insufficient pressure in the liquid hydrogen tank in the cryogenic upper stage of the launch vehicle. The project envisaged the design and development of indigenous cryogenic upper stage to replace the stage procured from Russia that was used in GSLV flights. A cryogenic rocket stage is more efficient and provides more thrust for every kilogram of propellant. It burns compared to solid and earth storable liquid propellant rocket stages. However, the stage of cryogenic is technically very complex and that is compared to solid or earth storable liquid propellant stages. Moving on, the World Health Organization's Global Center for Traditional Medicine will be established in which of the following states? Gujarat is the correct answer over here. Recently, the Prime Minister of India said that India is honored to be home to the World Health Organization's Global Center for Traditional Medicine. A day earlier, the Ministry of Ayush signed an agreement with the UN Health Agency for establishment of WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine in India in Jamnagar, Gujarat. Its interim office will be at the Institute of Training and Research in Ayurveda in Gujarat. With respect to European Union's Digital Markets Act, consider the following statements. Under it, a company will be termed as a gatekeeper if it has an annual turnover of at least 7.5 billion euros within the European Union in the past three years or a market valuation of at least 75 billion euros. That states that users will have the right to choose and install their apps.
we have to select the correct statement or statements. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. The DMA's focus is on companies termed as gatekeepers, which include Apple, Facebook, Google. These companies will have to comply with the new rules. A company will be termed as a gatekeeper if it has an annual turnover of at least 7.5 billion euros within the European Union in the past three years or a market valuation of at least 75 billion euros. Violators can be fined up to 10% of the company's global annual sales for an initial breach of the law, rising to 20% for repeated infringement. In worst case scenarios, they could even be banned from any further acquisitions. The rules say that the users will have the right to choose and install their apps. Practice question. With reference to the India Post Payments Bank, consider the following statements. It is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Department of Post with 100% Government of India equity. Its vision is to build the most accessible, affordable and trusted bank for the common man. It is governed by the RBI. So here we have to select the correct statement. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.